Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Dan Law Field here at Rip Griffin Park in Lubbock. Red Raider hitters struck out 13 times on Tuesday night, but Bulldogs pitchers walked eight batters, and four of them would score for Texas Tech in that one-run victory. For Texas Tech, it was defense and the bullpen and a very timely bases-loaded double that would win the game. John Harris. playing. Conley a couple of steps around toward right field. Yeah, they move the other direction for him, and he hits it into left field. This may score Jace Young. That ball lined into left. Young rounding third, and he's going to get home as the throw is offline, and that will allow the Red Raider runners to move up. Walk somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Hampton back to the stretch. Cole Stillwell is the Red Raider at first base, holding the runner on. This might be two to Conley at second. Young at there over to first, and the Red Raiders turn a double play. Shot that was in critical part of a six-run seventh inning. Broke open a one-to-nothing game. Boy, this is ball ripped into the corner down in right field. Long run for Grayson Sterling to get the ball, and the Red Raiders are going to hold up the runner at third, and a double for Cody Masters. Hit that ball hard. Picking up Baker, who is a threat to run, probably the right thing to do. May go right here. Hopped away on the. Pitch that got away from the catcher. Here comes a runner from third by the Red Raiders. And Cody Masters is safe at the plate. Getting the tag on Conley, Cal. Very appropriately diving to the back edge of the bag. Oh, they threw it away. Spellis, he threw it past Gabriel Hughes at first base. And Conley's going to get all the way to third. Here comes the throw. Cut off in the infield, but that errant throw over to first base allows the Red Raiders to get a runner to third. With the runner at third on the way line, right back up the middle, and the Red Raiders add a run. Kurt Wilson hits that three and two pitch on a line right over second base. Cal Conley, who is at third, comes trotting home, and the Red Raiders lead three to one today. Ground ball hit right at the Red Raiders shortstop. Conley with the short way to Young at second. And then Young a throw over to first in the dirt, but dug out by Cole Stillwell. 6-4-3. Red Raider double play. It's their second of the evening. A key facing Guthrie Morrison. One and two count. Two outs. Pitch on the way. Breaking ball grounded to Conley. It's short. Scooped it on the hop. Nice throw on the run over to first to Cole Stillwell. Long look in. Riley Livingston behind the plate now. Ground ball right back off the glove of Mullen. Can Young beat it out? No. Flip throw over to first by the second baseman, Marinko. But Jace Young beats the play out yeah, sliding. That one and one pitch getting away from Livingston, and that allows Jace Young opportunity to get down to second base. Parker Kelly, in which he tries to take that bag of second base. I said Kelly was two for three. He's actually one for three in the ball game. Struck out in the second, had a single into right field in the fourth, and then a little blooper over to first baseman Gabriel Hughes in the sixth. There goes Marshak, swing and a miss by Kelly, but Marshak is safe at second. Well, two out for the Red Raiders, but still two on. And number two at the plate, Jace Young, who has not hit the ball well tonight at all, but is very capable of giving one a ride. It's your best hitter, and he does. Long drive to center field. Morrison going back. It's over his head. It's off the wall. Jay Young's got a double. Red Raiders are going to score a pair of runs as Freeling came with a fastball, and Jace Young sent it to deep center field. As far back in that batter's box as he can get and pops up the second offering. Jay Young is over. He's going to call off his first baseman, Ron Batten, make the catch. Ball game is over. Guy that doubled home the runs that win the ball game ends it by making that catch over in short right field. Jay Young, Red Raiders tonight for the second night in a row, win over Gonzaga by a score of 5-4. to four.